embark on a magical bug-filled journey with Wes on new creation. Fluttering butterflies, buzzing bees, fascinating beetles, and even the misunderstood cockroaches are stealing the show. Join Wes and special guests as they unravel the secrets of these incredible insects. It's an adventure of discovery you won't want to miss. Get ready for a bug extravaganza, only on New Creation. Hi, I'm Wes and welcome to New Creation. We're going on an adventure this week learning about all different kinds of insects. Come join me. I want to introduce you today to Dr. Rebecca Baldwin. She is a professor of entomology, so tell us what that means. So entomologists study animals that have six legs in the adult stage. Do you have a favorite insect, Wes? Hmm, I don't know. Probably butterflies, because they're fun to look at. So butterflies. So butterflies are in a category that we call Lepidoptera, meaning scale-winged insect. Did you know that some moths and butterflies can actually destroy agriculture or I even eat the clothes that you're wearing? I like this jean jacket. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so how do insects give us an insight on who God is? Well, there's quite a diversity. Did you know there's over a million named and described species of insect with plenty more out there that have yet to be discovered? Wow. God is the creator and he is indeed creative. You'll get to see a variety of insects today that have different types of mouths, different types of wings, live in different types of environments. So you're going to get to discover the creativity of God in his creation through the lens of an insect. That's amazing. I, I remember going to school and like seeing pictures and videos of this stuff, but it's wild being so close to it and being able to touch it and just completely different perspective. We're going to have a time to look at caterpillars to butterflies. Did you know they go through a complete change from something that looks like a worm to something that's beautiful with wings and long antenna and long legs? So in science, we use a lot of Greek and Latin terms. In fact, the New Testament is written in Greek. The Apostle Paul used the term metamorphe, meaning to be transformed. Just like certain insects, including butterflies, go from something that looks like a worm, a caterpillar, into something with a long slender mouth part and antenna and six long legs and beautiful scale covered wings. It goes through a complete change. When people meet Jesus, they go through a complete change, just like a caterpillar to a butterfly. And that is actually our bright idea of the week and that Jesus changes lives. I'm so excited to go on another adventure with Dr. Baldwin and we'll see you next week.